Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is the Democratic National Committee hacking drama. Early this week, the Washington Post and other publications warned that the Democratic National Committee, or DNC, had said they were hacked. They claimed that uh, bad guys were in their network for up to a year and had access to their emails and their chats. However, they did say that things like donors' personal information had not been stolen. Later in the week, CrowdStrike, a security company, uh, said that they were brought in to investigate and they blamed the attack on two uh, Russian actors, uh, two hacking groups from Russia, one they call Fancy Bear and the other they call Cozy Bear. They say these bad guys likely use spear phishing and used a uh, very sneaky sophisticated techniques like hard to find PowerShell malware and other things like that to uh, stay on the DNC's network for a long time. However, this is where the drama begins. Later in the week, a WordPress blog went up from a hacker claiming that he was Guccifer 2.0, and he claimed that CrowdStrike was way off. He claimed he was the hacker that did this breach, and he actually shared some of the documents, including the DNC's Donald Trump report, and he also claimed he had access to donor information, and he shared some files which seemed to include some donors, their email addresses, how much uh, money they actually donated to the campaign, and many things like that. Like that. This attacker also claims he's going to release all his data to WikiLeaks later. Now, uh, this guy obviously goes against what CrowdStrike said. However, CrowdStrike has updated their post and said that they are confident in their findings, that these are Russian actors. On top of that, some other security researchers have pointed out that some of the documents that Guccifer 2.0 shared actually had uh, some metadata in them that was Russian. So it could be that Guccifer is maybe one of these Russian actors. In any case, it's hard to know for sure, especially when you're dealing with advanced threat actors. When you're dealing with sophisticated actors, they could actually plant false flags into their attacks to make it a lot harder to figure out who's really attacking. So what can we learn from this? Not a whole lot yet, but I do want to point out one of the things this story shows us is attribution is hard. There's a lot of techniques that good guys use to try to attribute attacks. We can certainly look at the IP addresses attacks come from, but we also know that bad guys go through a lot of proxies, so they may not tell us a whole lot. However, looking at things like strings and malware, uh, metadata, the motives behind attacks, and really the tools, tactics, and procedures of certain actors, you can start to identify or fingerprint certain actors for sure. However, it really is hard to attribute attacks. In any case, it's a very interesting story, one we're surely to see more of as this attacker leaks more documents. Hopefully in the future we'll learn more about how the attack happened so we can share some practical tips on how you can defend yourself. That's it for today's story. Thanks for watching and enjoy the weekend. Thank you.